I just wanted to give you a quick primer on QuickPose and Vision AI in general. Uh, Vision AI takes a camera image, applies some AI feature to it, and extracts that information for you. The other thing I wanted to raise at this point was this is an SDK, so you can put this in your own app today, and it's actually really easy. So what does QuickPose look like in practice? Let's have a quick look. On the right here, you can see a device running, which shows my body being tracked with key points. So you can see dots on the face, the hands, and the skeleton. This is our foundational layer, and all our features built on top of that, such as the skeleton tracking. So here we see this feature giving feedback to the user on their upper body or, or leg. This can be used as part of a more advanced feature, such as for health where we can track range of motion, say, on the shoulder or on the knee and give real-time feedback to the users. Like I was saying before, you can integrate that into your app. There's also the fitness application. So you can have a squat counter in your app, a jumping jack counter in your app, all with very little coding. Hi, welcome to QuickPose AI and the Getting Started video in iOS. I am the lead engineer for iOS, so you're in safe hands. If you haven't already downloaded um, the sample apps from the GitHub repo, please do that now. Um, I'm going to show you on here. Um, so make sure you're looking at the demo app, not the picker demo. That's a little bit more complicated and we'll address that in a later video. Um, the other major thing to point out is we're going to be running on my Mac designed for iPhone. If you don't see this feature, that means you've probably not got a Silicon Mac, which is the new Macs. And I'll show you what to do if you've got an older Mac. So for now, let's assume you've got a newer Mac. And I just want to run this so you can see how quickly it is to get going. So this is out of the box, just downloaded. It will run straight away. And what we see here is an upper body overlay being rendered over the video. So those white lines are something we're adding in real time. The frames per second will be um, around 30. Um, which is the fastest you can get on the simulator at the moment. The key thing to note here is it's running on the simulator, so I'll show you it running on the device. So running next to me is my phone, and I'll hit play on that. And I should get my device up here, here it is. So the one thing to note is um, this is not Jimmy Fallon, so this is me. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, and I'm going to stop that now. The um, that was because it was me. You could see it running the Quick Post camera view, not the simulated camera view. So to run on the iOS, um, run the iOS on Mac mode. Um, you have to sort of inject a video and you can inject videos e even on the device itself um, that's at your discretion and for testing that's actually quite helpful so for repeating like fiddly bugs um, so I'll talk you through the structure of the view we've got a Z stack so this is a camera view stacked below an overlay view and the camera view is either the video Jimmy Fallon or it's your camera running on your device and that logic is in here again you can change that video out here um, on top we see the overlay view this overlay image is exported from our quick pose SDK down here uh, the other thing to bear in mind is if you change the bundle ID you'll need to update the SDK key this SDK key is tied to the demo um, the um, so we have the, the overlay image exported and that's what you see rendered so this is updating on every frame um, we've got one um, feature here the upper body but QuickPose supports lots of features so we'll put in one of the newer features which is range of motion shoulder left false so this is clockwise I'll cover why clockwise in a second so that's running on my device. So you can see my, my left shoulder, so it's the user left, has a overlay over it. And if you're running on the, um, 
like you're running on a Mac, you can just, uh, in Silicon Mac, you can just run to the side. Um, as you can see, running things on a Silicon Mac is a, is a big time saver. So if you need an excuse to upgrade, this is a very reasonable reason to go to your boss and get a new Mac. So just saying. Um, the, I'll, I'll, so this is the, the sort of end-to-end -end sort of demo. We've got a couple of features running very quickly on a simulator. Um, what you can also do is follow on some more future videos which give you more advanced use cases. This is deliberately meant to be quite specific. More advanced use cases would be exploring more of the features um, and exploring a few UI kit examples. At the moment we're doing Swift UI but mostly because of its, its ease of use for new developers. Um, yeah. So thanks for listening. This has been the introduction to the ISSDK.